They hate Israel. My God, they hate Israel. Xbox One X. And this is probably the last video I'm going to make addressing this. Because I understand people are salty. People didn't want this console to be what Microsoft said it was a year ago. And here it is. Less than a week it was revealed and it is everything that they said. So I get it. With that being said, this is your boy Craig Simmons. And I am back with a brand new video for you. The haters. Well, I tell you, I'm not even going to just say pony tears. I'm going to just say everybody who's hating on this console, your tears taste delicious. They make all types of wonderful drinks. Well, I tell you, pony tears and Coke. You can't beat it. Hmm. Man, that's good. Hate of tears when you can brew it makes a delicious beer. Hate of tears. <sighs> so, everybody claims they know what. Phil Spencer and a lot of people in their press conference last year, everybody's they you you heard 4K and I agree, they said 4K, they threw it out there like it was a boomerang. 4K, 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 4K. And they did what they said they were gonna do. But if you listen to that daggone uh, um teaser for it last year, and all the way up to it was announced and actually showed and released. They said, first party exclusive games, Gears, Halo, Forza, etc. anything first party exclusive to Microsoft will be 4K. And they have delivered on that. They said, anything else, they are not going to mandate, dictate, and order any developers to give them certain specs and certain guidelines. They will leave that up to them to give us, a gamer, the best possible game. Now, I don't agree with that because you, the hardware can run 4K60 on most things. It might drop to 30 as far as like open world games. I get it. It's a lot of shit going on. But for the most part, it will deliver 4K. And I don't agree with them not mandating it because Destiny has been confirmed not to be 60 frames. And trust and believe that Scorpio engine, that Scorpio CPU can handle it. And that's another thing. Well, I tell you, boy, y'all, the haters out there, y'all still want to call it Jaguar. Jaguar is not, I'm not a tech guy. I'm, I'm not going to try to act like I knew. GPU, CPU specs, but I know what I'm hearing. And you look at anybody that does any type of breakdown of the internal shit in this box. Not one spot do you see Jaguar CPU. Even the great digital fuckery. They call it a custom in-house built CPU. I don't know what else to say. I just, I don't get it. Y'all just want to throw, I wish I had some salt right now. Y'all just want to throw the salt. I get it though. Because Microsoft is knocked down all of the excuses that the media and any of these PlayStation slash PC fan guys, fan boys can say. Beginning of this generation, Microsoft hit us with damn exclusives after exclusive after exclusive. Now, you might not have liked them. That's your prerogative. But they gave us exclusives. It was all about the power, man. Call of Duty is running 1080p. I throw a patch, but anyway, 1080p. Xbox 720. You had people in IGN running around with signs talking 720. That's, I get it. But then Scorpio was announced. AKA the Xbox One X. It was announced. And that 
totally wiped out the power slash resolution gate. All of a sudden, Sony has games. 80% of Japanese crap that none of y'all are playing. But anyway, I'm not going back over that neither. No one's playing these games. Nobody. But there's games. So at this E3, they showed us a whopping 40 plus games. Over 20 of them exclusive. Won't good enough. So to everybody. And this is my fan bull coming out now. To everybody, I tell you, boy, y'all flip flop more than them fish out of water. Boy, I tell you, y'all flipping like a bag only been hit with a taser. Plain and simple. Xbox is not for you. Evidently, you want to go play Persona 5 where you can molest kids and run around schools naked. You want to play games like Horizon Zero Dawn when they got the googly eye out effect, they looking at you. Well, y'all killed Mass Effect for that, but Horizon Zero Dawn, them motherfuckers' heads in there just bobbling. Bobbling. Clearly, y'all like games like that. Now, don't get me wrong, I love PlayStation 4. I love it. I, I'm looking forward to the game, but I'm not up here. I'm not going to beat it down for no reason. But I'm also not going to let the double standard go. You're not getting by me with this double standard shit. Sony gives us some shit too. You can't change your game tag. No cross play. Charging the same amount of money for online and it's far behind the Xbox. It's gotten better. I've always gave it credit. It's gotten better, but it's still behind Xbox Live. You charging the same money. They give away bullshit games. With the exception of this month, Killing Floor 2 is awesome. I've been playing it almost every day, every morning when I get home from work. Sony's bucket controller. They I know y'all, where's the controller like This controller right here is trash. I'm sorry. This is a trashy controller. It has, it's not good for not one thing. Maybe a fighting game, but that's it. It, it. This is the controller. This is the controller you want to aspire to have. And this is just a regular Xbox controller. I, I, don't, I didn't go buy the Elite controller. I'm not spending $150 on the controller. I'm not a professional gamer. I'm fine with just this. I fuck people up in Call of Duty. I fuck people up in Gears of War. I fuck people up in them. Kill Instinct with this control right here. All purpose. Hell, this thing with the Joy-Cons in it is better than a PS4 fucking remote. Battery life sucks on the PS4. No one complains about that. Updates and breaks your console. No one complains about that. Freaking maintenance on the PSN. No one complains about that. But what they do complain when the company gives you what they said they're going to give you. And, and let's be honest, only two games are not running native 4K. That's been announced. Two games. Anthem and uh, Assassin's Creed. Okay. Third party games. That falls into the category of Developers, that's discretion. God knows I can't even talk. Ponytail's time. And y'all jumping on Anthem. Anthem is still a year at least out. You could do a lot in a year. Let's wait to see Anthem get a release date and, a, and an actual playable demo or beta and see what it's running before we get our pitchforks and our torches and be like, Microsoft must die. Well, I tell you, boy, y'all worse than some Trump fans. But, uh, I just don't get it, man. Uh, this, the X, I keep wanting to call it Scorpio 2 sometimes. The X is the most powerful console. It's going to do native 4K first party games. And the minute they, they, they shut it down now, the minute it comes out, no, one first party game is less than native 4K, then, I will address it. But y'all just, well, I tell y'all, chomping at the bit for something to go at this console with. And you said the price, $500. Oh, it's too high. Hey, last generation, you paid 600 bucks for a PS3. What was the fucking logic with that? That is why I didn't get that one until them motherfuckers were showing up in my local cool stuff used because people were turning them in getting 360s, regardless of the red ring. 
people were turning them fuckers in. But that's another topic for another day. Uh, now they also said that coming out when this system launches, freaking 30 games are going to get a free patch day one for 4K, Gears of War 4, Halo 5. Titanfall 2, Tekken 7, and I bought Tekken 7 on the fucking PlayStation. Even though I don't have a pro, so I don't really have a valid argument with that. But the pro ain't getting Tekken no fucking patch for, for 4K checkerboard or whatever they doing over there. But uh, you getting it with Xbox, so I'm going to have to buy it with X for Xbox. Uh, they said the older games that's running at 720, which I'm gonna say Quantum Break, they might not hit 4K, but they told us that in the beginning. So, but people gonna jump over there. Where'd they say that? But y'all, we supposed to be quote, quote, amateur journalists, supposed to report on stuff, but we, they talk about it, but y'all, y'all pick and choose what you wanna hear, what you wanna see. Like, uh, you still wanna call it a Jaguar CPU and everybody break down of this console. Other than somebody doing a video like I'm doing there in the house, then they might pull up some bullshit and put it up. But you go to any legitimate freaking tech site, they don't call it Jaguar. They call it custom or in-house custom built CPU. Eight cores or whatever the cores it got. I don't know. I don't know if they make me dizzy. But it's, it's funny, man. I, you know, I, I'm at work and I see videos hit my timeline and, 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 and people talking about uh, time for some dinner and Xbox menus and I don't get it because the stuff you were complaining about, they already told you what it was going to be. And my God, two games aren't being ran at 4K. Third party games, which is like what they said, up to the developer and people still want to criticize them. But I just, I just don't get it. What you doing, buddy? I, 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 I don't y'all mess with the dog. I told you the dog out next. She, she get your ass. That's on you. I done told you. I ain't take you to the hospital neither. You sit there and bleed. You go bleed in 4K. <laughs> Baby sitting day two, by the way. <sighs> just worked last night. Get off work. How long do I got to see? People mad, I mean fussing mad and out of breath. <laughs> Two games ain't in 4K. <sighs> then I got another channel dude up here crying because Nintendo ain't getting third party support. You knew that day one. You knew that day fucking one when they released this damn. When they released this shit right here, you knew day one you won't get no third party games. You knew it. No third party games. You're getting Pokemon, Zelda, uh, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart. That's it. Whatever little corky shit, Neomoto or whoever the fuck is in charge of Nintendo Nuggle put on this thing. Why are you so surprised? Hell, Respawn Development Team, they laughed. Laughed. <laughs> when asked if this was was that going to the Switch. Laughed. They need every dollar they can get. The Titanfall 2 ain't selling. And it was a good game. Don't you come down here, dog? God bless it. Look at him. Get away. Go. Go home. Get, get out of here. I got to get all in my bed. Go, go, go find something to tell. Uh uh. Don't you get up. Don't you jump on me. Come on, Scott. Get out. You, you, you're interrupting Greeks. I'll be right back. Get out of here. Go. Get. Y'all. Go. Go. Good gracious. It's a zoo in here today. Huskies running around. Kids running around. We got rabbit fanboys running around. <laughs> what I tell you. It's, this, this is crazy. This has been a crazy boy. Why can't we just play games? You like what you like. You like PlayStation? More power to you. Game on the station. You like Nintendo? More power to you. Play on Nintendo. But don't sit here and knock a certain community, Xbox. We are excited for the X. We are impressed with the X. 
the ex has given us or is going to give us everything they said it's going to do. Let us enjoy it. For three years, going on four years, Sony has had the, 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 the advantage over everything. And we took it. I, for one, didn't really complain about it too much because the only thing my main complaint at the time was Sony was the fucking internet. I could care less about graphics. I, I had a 360 over the PS3. You know what I'm saying? I had a damn GameCube before I bought a PS2 and shit. So I, I, I didn't care about graphics. Never have, never will. But now that I'm getting the best again on both worlds now, everybody wants to complain. Trust me, Sony's going to be fine. Y'all are going to enjoy checkerboarded games. And they look good. I just... Pro to me, like I said from the jump, was just not a big enough upgrade. Game still locked at 30 frames. No, no, no real 4K unless it's a wipeout title. Uh, Last of Us remastered again. Something like that. All the new Horizon Zero Dawn, as good as it looked, the Google head and Google eyes. Checkable. Checkable. But it looks good. But it's, it's still locked at 30 frames. Games running worse on the PS4 Pro than the regular PS4. The Pro just was not truly a big enough upgrade for me to go out and buy. But this X, that's an upgrade. That's how you do an upgrade. It was so it was upgraded so bad, people was trying to call it a new console, Xbox Two, and new generation has started. No, 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 no. It's still an Xbox One. But anyway, I rambled on enough. I'm done with this topic. It's funny to me. I get it. You got stuff. When people get stuff made up in their heads, they, you can't change them. So, so be it. It's a, eight, it's a shitty Jaguar. No 4K, even though all of the first part is running 4K. So... I don't know. Y'all tell me what they lie at. Tell me and, I, and show it to me. I guess uh, third party games running in checkerboarded and fake 4K, which is, they said was up to the developer, which is only two games thus far. And like I said, Anthem's still a year out, like a change in a year. Uh, Destiny's still going to be 4K, just they going to be 60 frames. But again, that's up to the developers. So, well, I tell you. Haters tears. Anyway, this video went crazy. Got kids running in, dogs running in. I'm done. I'm about to play some video games. Probably play a little Killer Instinct. Try to get my mixer going. I don't know what's wrong with my mixer. So, my little channel for my few subscribers that like me getting up here talking shit. <laughs> uh, Trying to get my mixer running, uh, I, I see it, I stream a game up there and it's, it's playing, but the minute I stop my stream and I go back and try to check it, it's not there, so maybe I'm doing something wrong, but like I said, I, I, got, I ain't got the best internet out here, but my Xbox plays fine on it, PlayStation, okay, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get it up and running, but if you do look for me on Mixer, uh, it's Hollywood Space 27910. That is my Xbox gamer tag. And even if we ain't on Mix, we'll play some games, man. Killer Instinct. I got Mortal Kombat. Gears of War. We, we, can, we can get it. Uh, on the PlayStation side, I'm Craig Dollar. I got that Tekken 7. I done offered the, the invite to a couple of people. To, uh... Oh, it's there Damn. Shit went to sleep on me. Fuck me up. Yeah, I offered the invite out there to play some people in Tekken, uh, Street Fighter. So it was all these Cray Dollar. Cray Dollar on the PlayStation. Anyway, it's your boy Cray Simmons, man. And I am out. Please don't judge me on my videos because I just do this stuff off the, off the fly. Don't prep for that. And I just, when the urge comes upon me to speak, I speak. Other than that, I just like to put game, play games, put footage up here. Y'all can laugh. Say what you want to say about the color of the day. Anyway, I'm out.